Hi, this is Matt, and this is a video on something that a lot of people don't know how to do on Letterboxd. So on Letterboxd, we can actually extract our own data and we can add data to Letterboxd itself. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm right here on my main uh, Letterboxd profile right here. And in order to find uh, the data section, we just need to come up here uh, and we're going to click on settings. So your profile here, come all the way down to settings. There's a few different ways to get to settings, but uh, that's the main way. Uh, so we've got account settings here and we've got right on the end of here, uh, the last option here is data. So two different ways of doing this, we can import data and we can export data. So the most commonly used uh, aspect of this is if you want to import, say data from IMDB or TMDB or another source where you have uh, where you potentially have ratings and reviews of films and different data on the films that you've watched. So if you want to, say, import um, a couple of thousand films from IMDb or somewhere else, uh, you can create a CSV in the uh, correct format, which they they have a help document around where you can, uh, you can actually get the correct uh, columns and the correct format in that will actually work uh, with this CSV. But essentially, you're going to take a CSV, you're going to click on import your data, and then we can select a file here. And I've actually prepared one just to show you. Um, I've got a few different films in this uh, reviews.csv. So I'm going to click open there. And then depending on the amount of films you've got, it's gonna take longer, uh, depending on uh, how many films you've got. But what it's gonna do is, uh, for me, it instantly found these three films uh, that I had in the CSV. It's matched them up uh, with the tick here on Letterboxd. And then it's actually pulled in the review uh, the watch date uh, and a ton more details here that are already pulled in from Letterboxd uh, via the TimDB uh, API. So then all we need to do once we've uh, decided that we want to import those films, say you have a couple of thousand from IMDB, you're just going to click this green import films button right here. So I'm not going to do that today as I already have those films in there. Uh, so I'm just going to cancel out of this and then for the purpose of the video, I'm going to go back to settings and back to data to show you the other one. So if you actually want to export your data, what does this mean? It means that all of the data that we have on Letterboxd that you've accumulated over potentially months, years, we can actually export that data. Uh, we own that data, it's our own data. So all of your reviews can be exported, all of your ratings, uh, all of the different kinds of stats and uh, login, uh, aspects and details that you've added to the letterbox system to your profile specifically your profile the comments that you've done the reviews that you've done all of this can be exported so all you need to do is click export data and you're going to click on this green export data button right here and as as we're told here we value your right to retrieve any data that you've given to us below uh, you need to click uh, to get a zip file containing the CSVs of your profile, your films, reviews, lists. I didn't mention that one before, that's very important. All of the lists that you've created will be exported in CSV format. So those are fit to open in a spreadsheet uh, app program of your choice. You can open it in uh, Google, uh, Google Sheets or anything like that. So uh, the data export will even include the deleted content uh, and reviews of deleted films. So pretty cool, we can click export data right there and that will go straight to your uh, to your downloads folder. All of our data has been exported, we can import and we can export all from the account settings section and just clicking on data here. I hope that was helpful. Yeah.